Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So uh, this is the first video of uh, another series of videos uh, which I'll be creating on YouTube. Uh, I'll be discussing uh, interesting data science and uh, data analytics interview questions. So uh, by interesting, I mean those type of questions, uh, you know, when candidates are subject, uh, are, uh, you know, thrown on, they uh, basically their minds move to different places. And you know, it's a type of questions where, you know, you just, uh, I mean, you're, you're just blank, you know, you, you're not able to process on how you should answer it. So if you have encountered such a question in an interview or if you have such a question, uh, please comment down below or email it to me. Uh, and if I find it tricky enough, uh, you know, I'll make a video on it and I'll give a shout out with your name. All right. So uh, before that, another disclaimer, you know, I'm a data science uh, student and, and a data science learner myself. So, uh, you know, I can tend to make mistakes so if you uh, if I did that I apologize in advance and just correct me in the comments below and uh, uh, I just wanted to say that whatever question I'm answering it's based on scientific research and you know it's based on um, you know the facts and you know I'll be backing up that up with uh, you know a lot of uh, a lot of articles as well in the description below so uh, here's the question okay so explain p-value in layman terms all right so what the interviewer is trying to do here is that he might ask you a question that okay explain uh, how will you explain p-value to you know a, a, a fruit seller or you know a chai wala or a bricklayer or someone like that right so uh, here the interviewer is trying to see how you are able to uh, you know intuitively answer okay um, without being too technical so here's one way which I found out that is really good so the p-value is nothing but even you know, the probability that your know, null hypothesis is true. So, uh, what it means is that if I make a claim and if my if my probability is uh, uh, if I make a claim saying that okay if, if the probability is less than this then my claim stands if it's greater than this then my claim doesn't stand. All right, that's the most like basic way to understand it. So, here's one way which you can answer this question really really uh, you know smartly and you know the interviewer will definitely love your answer. So. Suppose a guy gets rejected for an interview because he's only 1.8 years of experience and the interviewer wants two years of experience in that particular field or that particular domain. So rejecting a candidate with 1.8 years of experience for a job that requires two years of experience or two plus years of experience is like saying that a p-value of 0 0.055, which is just a tiny bit greater than 0 0.05, isn't important. It's like saying that it isn't important because it's less than 0 0.05. Now, both of these values, these 0 0.05 and 0 0.055 are set by us. They're all arbitrary thresholds. So we should treat them as such. So we should be able to, you know, to uh, tune them as, you know, as per our requirement when we're doing a project or anything like that. So here the interviewer, uh, if you answer it this way, the interviewer knows that you not only do you know what p-value is, but you also know its effects like, you know, uh, setting up the wrong p-value will, you know, give us, you know, type one and type two errors or, you know, it, it's prone to, you know, all these type of errors. It's not a perfect thing. It's an arbitrary thing. All right. It's all based on hypothesis. All right. So uh, that's, uh, you know, a very smart way to answer it. And I thought I could share that with you. If you have a different answer, let me know in the comments below and please support me by subscribing to my channel. Uh, uh, it's the channel name is Data Dive with Ashan, and you know I'll be I'll be making data analytics, data science tutorials. So until next time, I'll be coming up with a new interview question. Uh, so see you later. Cheers.